Welcome, lovely to meet you. Mara lovely Lisa. to meet you. Yes, exactly. What an interesting name. What does that mean? Israeli. It's the second highest mountain in Israel. Ask me why it's not the first, because the first is Hermon, and who wants to be named that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good spell. It's like me with Pemo. I always say it's like Pemo with a B. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. you got to like work something out when you've got it. I know, I know, I know, I know. So tell me a little bit sure. about the startup. I was really fascinated to see a little bit of it. What happened? Thank you very much. I mean, that looks incredible, the virtual yeah. reality stuff. So yeah, tell so me about it. Meta is the first instance of augmented reality touching the market. Um, you see movies like Iron Man and Minority Report, people imagining these interfaces with three dimensions uh, of computing sort of projected in space and modulated, interacted with by, by touch. And it seems fantastical, and it seems like it's a three to five year uh, event. But really, we've, we've built it and impressed a lot of people here in Silicon Valley with it. And um, I would predict that uh, within a year to two years, we're going to begin dropping these flat devices uh, that will be no longer necessary. So we can take your phone and your iPad and your television and, and show all that information to you in 3D space via the glasses. And um, you know that's how paradigms change, right? When the phone went into the little touch device we call the iPhone, uh, the paradigm changed. And similarly, we're doing the same with glasses. So we're basically crossing the chasm as you would put it to the other side. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah it's exactly. Pretty exciting, man, and pretty exciting that your um, company is one of those leading. That. Thank you very much. Appreciate and, it. And uh, I'm always interested about uh, venture and mm -hmm. you know helping on. Raise venture sure. and, and supporting the venture industry. Uh, tell me a little bit about your history with uh, investment. Sure. So we uh, uh, went, are going through the end of a seed round of around $3 million, and it's now uh, going into the next phase of, of investment, uh, okay. which I can't talk about uh, the, the dimensions of it yet. Um, but this is a very big project. We have a lot of initial traction. We've sold a million dollars worth of goods in the blink of an eye. And over the last few uh, months, uh, Y Combinator uh, out in Silicon Valley uh, has funded us and a number of other top-notch investors like Alexis Ohanian, co-founder of Reddit, or Gary Tan out of Y Combinator, uh, Tony Shea um, yeah, from Zappos. And uh, these people are all betting on the fact that a form factor is changing and we're the right people for the job. Thank it's pretty exciting, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Having all those big names, it'll be like, wow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no yeah, yeah. We're really excited ahead. to have these people. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Great advisors too, right? Right. And um, how long has the company been uh, going? So the company officially has been going since December as an LLC, uh, and then that changed into a C-Corp more recently for Y Combinator. I've been working on this as a project for years, for two or three years okay. uh, now. Um, and you've since the Australian co -founder? Yeah, Ben Sand. I met him. I met him. Like, oh my god, I heard that Australian accent. I'm He's like, the best. Oh my god. We met in a discrete math class in Sydney, in University uh, of Sydney. Was... So you went to Sydney University? Yes, I took a semester abroad to invent Meta about two and a half, three years ago. Um, I got a scholarship to Sydney University. Oh, uh, cool. To do maths, but I actually turned it down at the time. Oh, I see. Ago. I see. I see. <laughs> okay. Time. Okay. Well, that class was that was that class was challenging, and so um, yeah. Maybe you did the right thing. <laughs> uh, so I met, I met Ben at a discrete math class. Uh, and the subtext the, was that I was at Columbia University. I saw the iPhone 4 just come out, the iPad 2. And I saw these things. They, they were really the most beautiful um, of that form factor that I could imagine. And I knew that everything from here on out is going to be a down the hill from there. Right. Because the, the iPhone 4 was so stunning, it looked like a piece of jewelry. I figured if you made it any lighter, people wouldn't buy it because it wouldn't feel substantial. If the screen grew too much, it would be some fusion of devices. And the iPad was so thin as well at the time that I figured it's not gonna become much more interesting than that. So when I saw the buzz dying around uh, all of these flat devices, I said, oh, I want an infinite screen on the world in three dimensions and I wanna be able to touch it with my hands. Um, except I didn't know any of the technological pieces necessary for that. So I said, I'm going to leave New York for a semester and go invent this in, in Australia where it's quiet and, and I could figure <laughs> it out. However, Australia is actually well known for all the inventions and innovations. Right. And I think part of 
that is because we're so is they're so isolated down there. Yeah. Um, and so we do have the influence of of America and uh, mm. the UK, but in the end, they do tend to just go off on their own things. And amazing medical innovations. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I collected my co-founder there. We brainstormed this company, which is now really at the at the top of the charts for augmented reality and. Uh, and I see a lot of mirrors between Australia and Silicon Valley insofar as that it's quiet and allows, allows you the, the, the space to invent. And so you guys are based in the valley? Yep, in Los Altos. Fabulous. We're at the top of a mountain overlooking all of the valley. And you see little Google over there in perspective, little Apple over there. You see all the way to San Francisco. Basically, um, all of our metaphorical for all of our cha yes. challenges ahead yes. um, and but inspiring little nonetheless. Challenges. Little challenges, so you could easily... Uh, Look, I hope your business goes really well and Thanks I look much. forward to watching your progress. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you.